Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and I'm back for another Wolf Among Us 2 video. So this will be the final video of 2020 I make in regards to the Wolf Among Us 2. We were provided with an update in regards to the development and what is going on from Telltale Games a couple days ago and I'm a little late to this so my apologies but I want to let you guys know because a lot of you guys probably don't know about this if you don't have a Twitter account so I wanted to let you guys know. Also I'll be making one more video in regards to Telltale Games, there's some more details I'm going to show later in this video that I'm going to make a full-on video about in the potentialities that this statement holds. So, if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And at the start of next year, theories will begin, as well as I'll be providing an update video at the beginning of the year on my thoughts on what's going to happen and when we will get official, official stuff in regards to the game. So, as I stated last week, the Game Awards 2020 just happened this Thursday, and the morning of, Telltale made a statement basically confirming they were not going to be at the Game Awards, and there was going to be no news in 2020. Now, we're going to go through the statement right now, and we will discuss. So, let's pop it up on screen. And they stated the following, One year ago, we surprised the games community with news that we had started pre-production on a new season of The Wolf Among Us. Since then, the team has been hard at work while continuing our mission to bring many of the classic Telltale games back online. We released the Telltale Batman series Shadow Edition earlier this year, followed by a release of Tales from the Monkey Island, and this this week we released Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventure, Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, and Texas Hold'em. So Telltale has been returning old titles, and this is really what I'm going to be making another video about. There's potentialities, Tales from the Borderlands, Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, uh, even more possibilities with all their old titles potentially coming back. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. We know you're excited to hear more about Wolf Among Us too. They typed it wrong here, but... And we look forward to telling you more when the time is right. What we can say is that we're developing the entire season at once. So this was known months ago, and I've stated this in multiple videos, that all five episodes will be made before the first episode releases, or if they drop the whole game with all five episodes without any wait like the leak last week said. Now that leak, we're gonna discuss a little bit later and what this means for it, if that leak basically just confirms that leak false or not, we'll have to wait and see. So, there is more to do before we're ready to share what's next for the Fable Town Gang. It's just not time yet. As for questions about other Telltale titles, some games reverted back to their IP owners and their fate is not currently in our hands. Another key comment, currently. Could this mean that Telltale We'll try to get old IPs back, like The Walking Dead that is owned by Skybound now. Tales from the Borderlands, which is owned by another company. Game of Thrones, which is owned by HBO. Stranger Things, is that even a potentiality? Maybe. I don't think that'll ever happen, but Minecraft Story Mode. Lots of possibilities, and that's why we're going to have another video discussing it. For now, think of us as fans just like you. We are a team dedicated to the Telltale Legacy for narrative games, here to celebrate the classics with an eye on what's to come. And trust us, when the time is right, we're gonna have a lot to talk about. So this is just more than just Wolf Among Us 2 is gonna be maybe what they could bring back as well. Cause they probably are trying to bring back a lot more of the old games and also trying to look forward to the future also maybe with new IPs and stuff. Until then, thanks for being a fan with us. May you continue to stay safe and have a healthy, happy 2021. Basically confirming we're not gonna have anything until 2021, who knows when. And they just said the Telltale team. So, there were a lot of leaks discussing the potentiality that the Game Awards was going to have a teaser trailer or some news, and Telltale basically flat out said there was going to be nothing. And so this basically confirms that leak that this person, I don't know who the hell they are, they keep coming up with these BS leaks out of nowhere, no substantial things, they just throw stuff out there trying to fool us all. So, you know, if you keep seeing leaks from this person, I've told you all, that's why I did not believe this leak was going to be true. Um, now, the potentiality, let's go through that leak one more time, discuss it, and see what y'all think. Basically, they said the confirmed cast, so that part, X that out. Maybe they somehow know this. I doubt this cast is going to be set in stone, so that's probably fake. The two years part, again, no substantial evidence. Maybe that ends up being right. We'll have to see the story details and all this, Snow White being playable and all that. We'll have to wait and see if this is going to be true or false. I still think this is all fake news. Again, this person just continues to throw out no substantial evidence, all fake news. And the release date, who damn knows at this point what it's going to be. So it's, again, all this I'm going to say is fake. 
maybe some of it could turn out true, like maybe some of the story details, or maybe the release window, or maybe that all five episodes are gonna release with the game. We don't know anything yet. So again, all that stuff in that leak, don't, don't, don't treat it as truth. But my final thoughts on this statement and what I could take out of it is that Telltale's really gonna try hard to get a lot of their old IPs back. That when they're going to release news, it is going to be a lot. They clearly stated this. We're going to have, and in capitals, a lot to talk about. So we could easily see once they confirm some news, big, big, big news, we could get a new trailer. Maybe we can get some gameplay. Maybe we'll get a release date. We'll have to just wait and see, but I'm very excited. So when they drop news, expect a lot of stuff. But... As for now, we are going to have to wait. It's not time yet. They they are keep hitting it, and they're starting to be more active on social media. So we are getting closer and closer and closer to some news. So if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe. Join about the 40% of people that watch these videos that are subscribed. I greatly would appreciate it. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on social media, stay connected, and There'll be a video on Telltale Games very, very soon. As for my Wolf Among Us 2 fans, I'll see you next year for an update video on my thoughts on what's going to be a very, very exciting 2021. Peace and love. I wish I had something more to give you. You've been feeling bad this time of year. If I could